championships, they also won the Constructors' Championship. Our sports reporter Peter Staunton reports from working. For the new champion, it had been a long, tiring flight from the You're Far welcome. East. You jet lagged? Yeah, a little bit, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but Mika Hakkinen was looking remarkably fresh, especially after the post-race celebrations, which had gone on long into the night. The McLaren factory in Surrey was the venue for a brief visit from the driver for him to thank them for the work which had helped make him part of Formula One history. But it had been a close run thing. Michael Schumacher keeping the heat on Hakkinen right to the moment when a rare tyre problem ended Ferrari's hopes and left the German watching his rival coast to the title. It's slowly, slowly I started understanding and, and uh, it's obviously still quite hard. I mean, we're still quite tired from the trip. And and obviously Sunday night we had a huge celebration in, in Japan and, and, <laughs> and I could still feel it. And Hakkinen had fought back from a serious accident three years ago which had threatened to end his career. It was a hard struggle, wasn't it, to get back to the top? Extremely hard, yeah, extremely hard. But it was a it was question of I had a good people around me, I uh, was you know, in a very good team. Uh, I had a great support, you know, and that helped me a lot. I never could have done it alone. Schumacher took defeat with dignity. Already, the workers started at McLaren to keep them at the top. Peter Staunton, ITN Sport, Woking.